Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to review the ThinkScan 689BT scanner. I got this yesterday and the only thing I've done so far was pull it out of the box. So let's get started. I've got everything out of the case. Here's your 3-in-1 charger. So this will do US. It'll do European and UK. Here's your charging cable. This will charge the unit. One end goes into the charger. The other end goes into the unit itself. Here's your network cable. And then this is what they call the F chassis. So one end goes into your OBD2. The other end goes into your dongle. And then here's a network plug. They even give you a network cable here. Now next, let's go over the unit itself. This is the ThinkScan 689BT diagnostic tool. Right away, you'll notice it has an 8-inch display. The resolution is 1280 by 800. If I spin it around, you can see the quality of this and how thin it is. If you check out the back here, you'll see the kickstand. This is great for putting it on the steering wheel or setting it on the bench because now it's Bluetooth. It doesn't always have to be in the car. This is your Bluetooth module. This hooks onto your data link connector and it Bluetooths to the unit. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna update the unit and connect it to the internet. And if I didn't mention this earlier, this unit comes with free updates for life. Think about how much money that's gonna save you in the next 10 years. Also, they do have free customer support also. So let's go ahead and connect this to Wi-Fi. I'm going to go to that one. Type in my password. I'm going to hit this check mark. And I'm going to say OK. It's connecting. And we're good. Now we're going to upgrade. And we're going to upgrade everything. While this is updating, here's a quick look at what makes the ThinkScan 689BT special. Unmatched speed and performance. Powered by a Cortex-A, 53 four-core chip, five times faster. And a vibrant 8-inch touchscreen 1280 by 800 resolution, the 689BT delivers lightning fast diagnostics. Access and control virtually any system in your vehicle. Engine, transmission, ABS, airbags, and much more. Retrieve ECU information. Read and clear trouble codes and view live data in real time. Bi-directional control. Test individual components like cooling fans, injectors, windows, and lights directly saving you valuable diagnostic time. Pinpoint issues quickly and efficiently without taking your vehicle apart. Stay current with the latest vehicle technology. Enjoy free lifetime updates and no subscription fees. Expand your capabilities. Add tools like TPMS sensors, endoscopes, and oscilloscopes to further enhance your diagnostic capabilities. The ThinkScan 689BT is the ultimate diagnostic tool for professionals and DIY enthusiasts alike. Now that everything's good and upgraded, we're going to go ahead and shut this down and restart it. And then we're going to take this to the car. Before I go plug in the scanner, there's one more tool I want to show you I got from ThinkCar. So this is the Venue Eye Pro. It's a tire pressure monitor intelligent detector tool. So my Honda Element actually has a tire pressure monitoring system that I've been dealing with for a while. I refuse to pay somebody to fix it. So my scan tool is gonna tell me what's wrong and my Venue Eye Pro is gonna help me fix it. Let's head on over to the car. So the Bluetooth dongle, just remove that and then use your kickstand, pull it up. This should fit right here on the steering wheel. Turn it on and plug in your dongle. Turn on the key. 
And what we're going to do here is we're just going to find the bend. There's my Honda. 16 pin DLC. I'm a USA car. So it's going to retrieve all the information. And then once it does, we're ready to go. So a health report, that's going to check everything to see if you have any codes. System scan, that's going to check the system to see which modules you have in there. A system selection, you can actually select which one you want, and that's the one I'm going to do. So we're going to check our module for codes. And I'm going here because I really want to show you something that's a really cool feature. So we're going to read trouble codes. So here's all my trouble codes right here. Um, and we're going to go MAF, air sensor, voltage low. I'm going to say details. So it tells me right here the description of the code, the reason and possible fixes and suggested repairs or this button down here. I can push this and go to a Google search. This is amazing right here. So right here, it's telling me what to do, clean it or replace it. What is the code for? Can the vacuum leak cause a P102? Can I drive it? I mean, all sorts of Google search information here to help you fix your car. Isn't that amazing? And then I'm just going to swipe it and I can go back. Let's go back. Um, I can go do the data stream and I can see all sorts of information here. I mean, unbelievable amount of information. So on my car, I have two engine coolant temperature sensors. So engine coolant temperature sensor one and two right there. So a lot of scanners take sensor one and two and put them together. And you don't want that kind of scanner. You need to be, read these individually. So I'm going to just say OK, and there's my sensors. So it's giving me the voltage and the degrees. So I did a whole video, and I did a manual check on these sensors. I didn't need to do that. If I had this scan tool, I could just do everything right here because it's telling me the voltage and it's telling me the degrees. I can record it. I can graph it. I can get a report. I can compare samples. This thing is amazing. Let's back up. And let's go over here to actuator test. So here's where you control certain things, like a fuel pump. I can turn that on. And we're going to say yes. Press OK to operate it. So listen. I don't know if you can hear it, but my fuel pump is running. I'm going to say exit. And now we're going to back off. Let's go do some other tests. AC clutch. Let's see if my AC clutch is coming on. I heard it click. And then we're uh, exit. Radiator fan. Is your radiator fan coming on? I can check it this way. There it is. This is amazing. Let's see what else we got on here.
This is amazing. So we're going to back out of here and let's go somewhere else. Let's go to special functions. So throttle learning, a big one. Crank sensor pattern, a big one. I can replace the ECM, PCM. Let's back up. Let's back up here. Body control electrical systems. Wipers. Let's see if the wipers will work. Actuator test. Wiper motor. Listen for it. Executing. There's my wipers. Amazing. Here's low wipers. Executing. Amazing. That is amazing. Washer pump. I'm going to make a mess here. There it is. Okay, let's back up. This is this is kind of fun. Actuator test. All right, so that was the wipers. Let's go to keyless. Actuator test. Trunk lid and tail light. If this if it does this, this is going to be crazy cuz I have a mechanical switch and it works only when I do my remote. So let's see. Listen. There it was. My my trunk lid popped. Amazing. Special function, erase remote. Okay, so I can reprogram my remotes here or add a remote. And I can read trouble codes too. Let's go here. All right, no trouble codes in that module. Exit. Exit. Gauges. Read fault codes in my gauges. No trouble codes, that's great. Let's exit. Actuator test. There goes my gauges. Say okay. So all my gauges are going on so I can see if any lights are bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and bring it over to the Honda element where I should see some tire pressure monitor system codes in there. And that's what we'll check next. I'm actually not sure I wanna tell you about this thing because you're not gonna need Danny's DIY garage anymore. But my goal is to have when you do the Google search, one of my videos comes up. That would be awesome. But let's take this over to the Element and hook this up. I've got the scan tool all hooked up in the Honda Element. This is a 2007 Honda Element. And I'm going to go to System Selection because I know I want to look into the Tire Pressure Monitor module. And I want to pull codes in that. If I didn't know what module I had codes in, I would just do a complete scan on all the modules. So there we are. Let's just say, okay. Read trouble codes. So I have a 36-01. It's tire three pressure sensor transmission failure. Let's go to details. So manufacturer defined. So it's not giving me much information, but I have this Google search button. Let's go ahead and use that. 
And then let's go down here. What is code 36? So your right rear tire pressure is having a transmission problem. All right, well, let's see. Let's go again here. Uh, it can mean the sensor battery is failing. And that's probably what it is. I have a bad sensor. The battery's bad. Um, this is a 2007. I've replaced one because I had a blowout like years ago. So that's most likely the cause. So the code I pulled out of the Honda Element was for the right rear. It was tire number three. And it was a communication error, which means... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a sensor since the car is a 2007. The problem is, is I've rotated these tires quite a few times and these older cars, they don't know where that tire is unless you program it every time you rotate it. And I haven't done that. So I'm gonna show you how to program tires using the Venu iPro. And then once that code comes back, then I'll know exactly what tire sensor to replace. Okay, from the home screen, we're gonna click this button here. We're gonna go to module. And then here's tire pressure monitor system. This is what we're gonna add today, but you could add a video scope, an oscilloscope, a printer, or a battery tester. So let's press the tire pressure monitor. It instantly found it, and let's go ahead and connect to it. And we're in America. It's a Honda. It's a Honda Element. And it's a 2007. All right, so now I just need to go to the car and program each sensor. So let's do that now. So I'm going to start with the front left. Now let's go to the front right. Okay, now let's go to the right rear. Press OK. Okay, now we're going to go to the rear left. And we're done. The Venue iPro seemed to work good on the Honda Element. It programmed really well, as you can see. I also used the VT37 by a company called ATEQ to program the Civic earlier, and that worked good. You also might want to pick up a good tire gauge. This one's from Jayco. I was using it for my uh, mountain bike tires, but it works really good on car tires also. You might have noticed I have some quick struts over here, and this is going to be for my next video. So hopefully that one will come out next week. Now that my tires are programmed and in the correct position, I'm going to drive my car until that code reappears. This will confirm that the sensor that I replace is the sensor that was causing the problem. Due to the age of the car, I'm probably going to replace all the sensors anyway. If you have a sensor you can recommend, put it in the comments below. Once I buy the sensors, I'll go ahead and post a video of the repair and the fix. I hope you learned something in today's video. I know I did. Having Bluetooth is like not having a leash on. The screen was amazing to see, even in the sunlight, and the speed of this unit was lightning fast. I'll put links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't